Look at these two clip art bundles just here. I have one and I also have two. Now, as we can see, these are two completely different styles. But the thing is, I use the exact same prompt, which is just here. Now, what I want to do in this video is show you how you can take one of your styles, any style which you've created your clip art around here in Midjourney, and bulk create a lot more elements and in the same style. So let me just go ahead and show you exactly how to do this. Now, what we're going to do is use this image as a reference image and then create lots of different graphics in the same style and bulk create them at the same time. So what we want to do is have the list of each individual element that we want to create. Now, for this purpose, I am actually going to use one of my GPTs. This is something that I've been working on recently and is going to be available over the next couple of weeks. Now, this is going to be in my IDEO Mastery course as well, which is just here. If you want to come and check this out, there will be a link down in the description. Now, this clip art bundle prompt generator does actually work for Midjourney and also Ideogram. So if we come over to here, I have lots of these different clip art bundles, as we can see. And if we come over to Ideogram as well, they do work extremely well in here as well, because that was my goal to try and create a prompt generator which works in Midjourney and also Ideogram. Now, we're not going to create a prompt in this video, but rather use it to get more elements. So what I asked it, I said, can you give me a list of more items for this prompt? So I went ahead, took this prompt, let's go all the way down, which is this one just here. I have plugged that in there, as we can see. Then after that, I put make the list so I can just copy and paste. And now we have all these other elements which would work well in this clip art bundle. So what we're going to do is take a few of these. Let's take a look. Let's take some rulers. So we're going to just paste that in here for now. We're not going to use this. We're just collecting the different types of elements. Then let's take maybe a whiteboard as well. So let's just put that as well. Let's go with four different elements. Now what I'm about to share with you, you can actually do this with five, ten, and a lot more. So let's take a couple more. Let's go with lunch boxes as well so let's just put that in the list and then just one more so let's go with a school bus let's take this one so now we've got four more items so let me just put that there then we're going to just copy these so these are the new elements that we're going to create in the same style as this now what we want to do is simply go to imagine so we're going to plug that all in there like that but we're going to put these in brackets. So not any brackets, but these ones. Now I'm not too sure what they're called, but these are the ones that we're going to use. Now, why do we do this? Well, any time you put your elements in brackets is going to create separate generations for those. So right here, we have rulers, whiteboard, lunch boxes, and school buses. And because they're in these little curly brackets, we're going to get four generations for this. Now, after that, we're simply going to put isolated on a white background. So let's just copy that. I'm doing this just to make sure that we do get that white background. Then we're going to do dash dash S R E F. And we're going to take the URL of this image so we can use that as a reference. So if you're going to do this, you do not actually have to take the whole prompt far from it. If you take the whole prompt, your generations are going to look a little bit weird. We just want rulers, whiteboards, lunch boxes, and school buses isolated on a white background. But because we're using this reference image, we're going to get the exact same style. And because we use these little curly brackets, we're going to get four generations. So now, if I click enter, this little message is going to pop up. Are you sure you want to imagine four prompts from the template? And that's going to be the four we just said. We click on yes, and now we're going to get four separate generations. Don't worry about that. It seems to glitch out a little bit, but that's not the generation. 
but now we're going to get the four generations in this exact style. Now, if you want to do even more, just remember to put them in those little curly brackets and you can put a whole list. You could do 10 and then Mid Journey is going to bulk create those 10 props. And there we go. So now here's the style. Let's just get rid of this like so. So this is the style. I really, really like this, but I want more images. And now we have all of these. So this one's for rulers. If we take a look, that's a ruler just there. We do have pencils as well. So we might want to redo this generation because it has messed up a little bit. But nonetheless, it is in the same style. Then if we look here, we have whiteboards and these are in the same style as we can see. And here we have lunch boxes. So we actually have a few of them there, which look pretty good. And then we have the school buses. Now these actually look really, really good. But this is what you can do to create more graphics, more clip art in that style that you want. So if you've been creating clip art, let's come back up to here. If you've been creating clip art and you want to use that style and create a lot more, then use this method. So it even work on this. It would work on this. It would work on any generation or anything that you want. Now, if we scroll back down, Let's go ahead and do it on this one as well. Now, this one, again, with this one, is the exact same prompt. But Mid Journey gave me a couple of different styles, and I actually liked both of these. So, let's go ahead and do this again. And let's just go ahead and do the same elements. So, we're going to go into Imagine, like so. Let's put in brackets, rulers, whiteboards, lunchboxes, and school buses, just like that. We're going to use the bracket on the end, and then we're going to put isolated on a white background, just like this. And then we're going to use that dash dash SREF, and then we're going to get the link to that image. So now that's just here. Now, this is a little tool which I use. It's completely free to use as well. I believe I did make a video all about that. It's quite an old video now, but it's still highly relevant. Now, what I'll do is link that video down in the description because this toolbar is such a lifesaver. But nonetheless, we're going to copy the link of this image and then we're going to plug that in there. Let's click paste, let's click enter. We're going to get this, and then all we have to do is click yes, then wait a few seconds, just like this. It always pops up like that a little bit and glitches out, because that's the image that we're using as a reference. Now, here we go. These are actually looking really, really good. So if we scroll back up to the top for a minute. Now, I did actually make a slight variation of this, just to get this down further down the list, instead of going all the way up to here. So that's why that button has been enabled. But nonetheless, let's scroll all the way down. Let's take a look. So these buses actually look really, really good. I'm really liking this style as well. Then we have the lunch boxes. If we take a look at them, these look good as well. And then we have the whiteboards. These look even better. Wow. These are pretty, pretty good. And then we also have the rulers. Now it seems like Mid Journey has a little bit of an issue at creating rulers and also scissors I have found as well. But nonetheless, that has kept all of the same style and it's just given us exactly what we want. So whiteboards isolated on a white background. And as you can see, it's just a really easy way to keep all future generations congruent with your original style. So if you have some styles for clip art, which you've been creating yourself, then give this a go because this is going to allow you to create lots of different elements for your clip art bundles. And just remember that you don't have to use the whole prompt. So if we come back to here, this is the original prompt for this one. We don't have to use that when using a reference image. We only want to put the elements that we want and in these curly brackets. 
then isolated on a white background, and then your reference image. So give it a go and see what you can create. Now, if you found this video helpful at all, then please consider giving me a like, as it really helps out the channel. And if you're not too sure what to watch next, click right here and watch this playlist.